There are all kinds of creepy things in the world. Monsters and werewolves and scary figures hiding behind closed doors. It feels like your body reacts a million different ways when you get scared. Your heart starts racing and the blood rushes out of your face and you gasp and you jump. But what's actually happening in your brain when you feel afraid? There's a part of your brain called the amygdala that we know has a special relationship with fear. The amygdala is sort of a fast detection system for things that might be potentially dangerous. The amygdala is this almond-shaped structure that's in the front of your brain, and it's responsible for activating your startle response. It then sends out this distress signal to your hypothalamus, which calls into action a bunch of neurons known as your sympathetic nervous system. That's what drives our fight or flight response. It's there to do things like get your heart racing so that you have blood and oxygen going to your muscles so that if you need to run, your muscles are really ready to go. It's there to empty your bowels. When you're running, you don't want to carry that with you. Like children who are really scared will, will pee on themselves. It's just part of the fear response. But do we get just as scared when we know we're going to be scared? Is that horror movie any less frightening if you know a serial killer is going to jump out of the closet? You have other brain circuits that kick in and say, well, no, it's not a threat to you, it's not scary, and it taps down the ability of the amygdala to activate all these other fear responses. But there's one other thing that can really bump up your fear response, the dark. If you measure just um, somebody's startle response in a light room versus turning the lights off, you will have dark potentiated startle. What are people most afraid of? Spiders, death, and heights top the list, but the way scientists test fear is way spookier. A common way of inducing a stress response in people is to give them performance anxiety. So you either make them do kind of hard math problems and chastise them for getting their wrong answer, or give them a very short time to prepare a speech and tell them that they're going to have to present it to a group of strangers. So if you really want to give your friends a fright, just ask them to divide fractions in the dark. Ooh. 